Invision Diversity is uh, founded in 2014 with an aim to bring a voice to different people from different backgrounds, uh, serve as a platform for networking and serve as a platform for advocacy, but not just uh, for a certain type, certain uh, group of people, but for everyone that can come together and bring um, their own voices to um, defend their rights, to advocate for their rights, to create awareness on issues like, uh, like human rights, women's rights, children's rights, um, and various different issues that concerns the society at large. <laughs> hamam in Turkish culture or in other cultures that are using hamam is uh, um, very, very uh, central to the cultural um, um, life. So it was a place that the woman gathered. Um, in a sense, it was a gender place. Uh -huh. But at the same time, it was also a place that they shared their concerns, they had forgotten their, their daily lives. Uh, the worries and they were dancing, chanting, so they were creating this sort of solidarity amongst themselves. But it was, it was a divided place as well, the woman and man cannot be at the same place. So it was kind of a reflection of the society's way of seeing how gender works in, uh, in, in, um, in the cultures that Hamam is an artifact of culture <laughs> or a signifier of the culture. Liberation. Uh, actually, this is what we are aiming for, uh, the Envision Diversity, just bringing what's inside and trap in those hammam outside and just, um, and, and just um, mixing, matching them in a harmony to just um, let them see the sky. Everyone can see the sky, actually. So this is what the diversity is. We are all living together, but we are getting out of the hammam where men and women are um, in a separated place, mixing in harmony, coexisting together and creating this whole uh, societal peace that we can just look up the sky and feel, um, feel that we are living under uh, the same sky um, with all our um, freedom, dignity and humanity. We still um, build walls actually in the society around ourselves. We um, tend to really focus on how we could put labels and put people in pigeonholes rather than having this clear mind of um, un um, and perceiving the other person as a human being, as human, so that we can just um, deconstruct these walls. Um, so ideologies and all this strict um, rules and teachings do um, um, do force us actually maybe to create the safe zones and the walls around ourselves so that we could potentially um, um, build this identity but this ident this walls also should be um, evolved should be brought down so that we could put, uh, we could mobilize and um, evolve um, mobilize and change our environment and accept and embrace others as well. To break the walls, to break these enclosures, to um, eradicate all the divisions and learn to love each other and learn to um, accept and learn to um, live with our differences um, and coexist peacefully without threatening each other's existence um, so that we can create a bright um, future which um, enhances our diversity together. This is the richness of our, um, of our country, I think, that we um, sometimes forget to see. Uzun süredir aslında ortak iyi konuşmuyoruz. Yani e, ortak iyi üzerinden hareket etmediğimiz için de e, birbirimizin farklılıklarını konuşuyoruz ve birbirimiz için olabilecek e, sadece e, tek bir etnik köken, tek bir e, e, millet ya da tek bir e, ırk için olabilecekleri konuşuyoruz aslında ama e, dünya artık çok farklı. Ee, bizler artık çok farklı bir çeşitlilik içerisinde yaşamaktayız ee, ve 
Bu çeşitleri için ortak iyi bulma çabası içerisinde olmamız gerektiğini düşünmekteyim. Um, usually the, the, the press um, in the at least in the northern side I, I wouldn't just talk about the southern side would say that they are a bit more um, commercialized and they want to do uh, the news that attract the interest of the society rather than um, um, taking the issues that are very important and um, talking about them in detail. So if it's, a, if it's a hot topic, then they would just definitely grab it. But if it's not a hot topic, then um, they wouldn't just be too interested. You have to push them a bit. For example, in Idaho, um, in May, when there's a Pride, yeah, they would be very much interested. You would think that they would always be very, uh, they would always be very pro LGBTI, and they would talk about these issues, and they would bring new perspectives to the public. But then, all of a sudden, it just dies, and they wouldn't be interested in it. So, it is a partisan media, I would say. Um, some of it, but some of it are still very interested to raise these issues, increase the visibility of the topic. Thank you.